In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy files from or to the Remarkable on Linux and Mac. Disclaimer, by copying files, I do not mean documents. So I'm not going to show you how to upload PDFs to the Remarkable. I'm going to show you how to exchange files on the Remarkable's file system. If you want to copy files from or to the Remarkable, you have two options. First one is the command SCP, which is available on both Mac and Linux. Second one is the command SSHFS, which you might have to install on those systems. The scenario I'm going to use in this video is that we want to change one of the Remarkable splash screens. So I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So let's first have a look at SCP. SCP stands for Secure Copy. So it's copying via SSH, copying of the network. So in order to copy a file, we first need to know where on the Remarkable it's located. If you're not sure about that, just SSH onto your Remarkable. I'm using the Wi-Fi connection here, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we are talking templates here, so we will go to use our share and Remarkable as here, and then we can see what the files are called. So going out of here, we can now use the SCP command. SCP command as the regular copy command under Unix has two arguments. First one is the thing you want to copy, and the second one is your location where you want to copy it to. So in the case of a remote destination or remote target, it's a bit different. We also have to specify the username and the IP address of the... So we want to copy from the Remarkable, so we can do SCP and now, uh, like with the normal SSH command, root, and then add our IP address, in my case, 192.168.178.32 then a colon, and then the full path to the file you want. So that's why we SSH in earlier, we cannot just write that. So user share remarkable and the file we want, so let's use suspended, suspended.png. And I also already have a suspended PNG here. I don't want to overwrite that. So I'm just gonna call it suspended1.png. If you want to copy it to the current directory, you can just use dot as the shortcut for the current directory here. Doing that. If you don't have an SSH key set up, you will be prompted for the password. In my case, it's just copied over. And you can see that I now have that suspended underscore one dot png here. So now that we do have that png, we might want to edit it or create our own. Um, when doing that, just keep in mind that the resolution here is 1404 times 1872 pixels, and it's a PNG. Of course, you can create a new document. I just recommend opening the old one and editing that for best results. Let's say we made some changes, and our result is suspended.png without the one. And we want to copy that to the Remarkable again using SCP. So we do SCP again, then what we want to copy, which is in our case suspended.png. Now, where we want to copy it to, that's remarkable. And for the remarkable, you need the username. So that's root at 192.168.178.32 in my case. Now, again, same syntax, we use the colon and then the full path, which should be use our share. Oops, remarkable. You don't have to write that trading slash there. You can to make sure that's a directory and you're not overwriting a file. So I'd like to do that. So doing SCP again, this one is now copied over to the remarkable and we have our new splash screen. Okay, SCP is good for quickly copying a file, but if you want to copy multiple files or you're not sure where to copy it to and you'd like to be able to go through the remarkable's file system with the tab completion, for example, you can use SSHFS, which stands for SSH File System. If you're on a Mac, just Google SSHFS Mac, and then there's this site OSXFuse uh, on GitHub. Just click that and download both Fuse and SSHFS for Mac, and you're good to go and follow along. On Linux, you can just check which SSHFS, oops, SSHFS, and if it turns out to be there, you don't need to install it. If not, then use your package manager and install SSHFS. SSHFS basically mounts a remote 
directory onto your local file system. So it's basically as if the remarkable was part of your computer. To do that, you need a so-called mount point, which is just an empty directory you have writing rights to. So let's just create one. Let's create a directory mount. Okay, now we can use SSHFS. So how do you do that? Well, obviously it starts by SSHFS. And the first argument of SSHFS is basically the local root, the local directory from which on downward we want to mount the file system. So to illustrate that. So here we can see the Remarkables file system on the top and the PC's file system on the bottom. Now what we're deciding with that first argument is which part of the Remarkables file system we're going to integrate into the PC's file system. So in our case we are only interested in that folder USR share Remarkable, which we can find here using as before root at our IP, then a colon, and then use our share remarkable. We are selecting the remarkable folder and all its subfolders like this. Now in the second argument we specify where in the local file system we want to mount that to. So basically we're saying we're taking all this and mounting it to our folder mount which is in the temp directory. So our resulting tree would look something like this. So by typing mount here, we're saying this is going to the mount folder. And now we can access this mount folder, do our ls, do our, let's say, uh, tag completion. Now let's say we want to copy starting.png over. We can just say copy starting.png to our temp folder as if we were copying a local file and we were done. We can see starting.png is there in our temp folder. Let's say we made some changes to it and want to copy it back. We just say copy starting.png onto our mount folder. Now that we are done with our operations in the Remarkables file system, we want to unmount this again. So we just do umount and our mount point and we're done.